doing YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about coating bullets with HBN or hexon boron nitride. Now the reasons we coat our bullets is to generally um, increase the amount of time between cleanings. If we have a coating on our bullets, then that coating will be applied to the bore of the rifle versus the copper jacket. Um, another reason is typically you'll see a little better uh, consistency over long shot, shot strings. So you'll have, say you're shooting a match that's 50 rounds, if you're using coated bullets, typically your shot to shot variation in muzzle velocity will be much lower um, over the course of the 50 shots than if you, for non-coated bullets. And in the case of what we're using, HBN, um, it's been proven time and time again by a lot of people that on paper, when you coat with HBN, you have much smaller of a change in your um, cold bore zero. So what that means is you pull your clean, your clean cold bore rifle out of the case so that the bore is clean, there's no fouling, you just cleaned it, and it's cold, it hasn't been fired. When you fire that round, it's going to impact in a different spot than the, it would impact if there was fouling in the bore or the bore was hot. Coating with HBN, for whatever reason, seems to make that difference smaller. <clears throat> There's a lot of coatings um, on, on, I guess, the market, you'd say. Um, the most popular one up until recently has been Molly coated. Now, there's a couple of um, drawbacks to Molly coating, I guess you'd say. First, when you coat with Molly, um, Molly sulfide is hydroscopic. It attracts water. And when it gets wet, it tends to clump up. Another thing with Molly is it's just an absolute mess. It's real black and it sticks to everything. Um, another downside to Molly is it'll it its melting point and its, its burning point is lower than the, the temperature of the bore. So it can burn into a barrel and you have to clean it out periodically. HBN has none of these problems. HBN isn't bothered by um, water. It's not not even a tenth as toxic as Molly. In fact, it's not even toxic. It's considered an irritant if it gets in your eyes. HBN is actually used quite extensively in industry like um, for makeup. It's in, uh, a base coating for makeup because it makes the skin feel smoother. And you'll notice when you use it, if, if you handle it on your skin, your skin will feel a lot softer and smoother. Um, HBN's um, melting point is far higher than anything that's going to see in the side of your of your of the bore of your barrel. Another advantage of HBN, like if you're using Molly and you decide you don't want to use a coating anymore, you have to completely clean out the bore of your rifle. I mean, scrub it out. Whereas with HBN, if you decide one day it's not worth it, you just stop using it. It's real simple. So, this is what you're going to need. Is some sort of container like this. You're going to need some sort of impact media. Right now I'm using quarter inch steel balls uh, because for the life of me I can't find my BBs. What I find really works really great, you just go to Walmart and buy the, the uh, copperhead, copper plated 177 caliber BBs. Works phenomenal. You're going to need your HBN. So I got this with, there's a tubs kit, I'll link in the description, that comes with the HBN and a little measure spoon and a, a popsicle stick to stir it and, and these containers. You can use any container you want. These just happen to be a really great size to work in my tumbler. Another container you can use, you could use like large pill bottles or um, I use Lemmy Shine to tumble my brass and the container that the Lemmy Shine comes in is actually a great shape for doing this. Um, anyways, 
you can either buy the tubs kit online or you can just buy HPN on eBay. Just type in HPN, you know, on eBay and like the first link that'll pop up um, is HPN. And you want the stuff that's like 0.5 microns. It seems like the smaller the uh, micron size of the actual um, HPN, the better. <clears throat> so we have our impact media, we have our HPN, our container, we have our bullets we're going to coat. Um, you need to you need to wear gloves because you need to clean your bullets, and then you're going to need some sort of vibratory tumbler. A rotating tumbler doesn't seem to work as well as the vibrating tumbler. Um, I I have one from Hornaday, and I have one from Harbor Freight. I think the Harbor Freight one actually works a little better. So the first step is to clean your bullets. Um, there's all sorts of ways to do this, but the two best ways are just Clean, wa clean hot water, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, shake it around, drain it, rinse it off real two or three times, make sure you get all the soapy water off, let the bullets air dry. An even faster way that I found is I use denatured alcohol. So I just put these in a piece of Tupperware, denatured alcohol, shake them around a little bit, drain the alcohol, pour them out on a paper towel, you know, blow them off with an air gun a little bit not even five minutes in it the bullets are clean so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your impact media in you'll want to experiment find out what ratios work best for you um, I probably do 10 percent of the the container with impact media and then 60 percent of bullets so your total fill of the container is about 70 percent it seems to work for me um, the first time you use a container, the first time you use your shot media, you'll need to add a little more HVN, and you'll get a feel for that um, the more you do it. You also need to clean your your impact media, obviously. I would really prefer to use the copper plated um, BBs, but you got to use what you got to use, and on your smaller bullets, like with these 168 grain bullets, I didn't use any media, I just used the bullets and it turned out fine. I just think these longer, these 338 bullets, they're so long, I don't think they move in or around enough in there and I, I think that's where the shot media, because it's real small and it gets in between them and bounces around and helps coat them. It's basically two little pellets deep, give or take. So it's probably, you know, like that deep. You don't want to go crazy with it, just enough so it'll help coat the bullets. And you add your bullets in. there it's about perfect smaller bullets probably you could do a little more full and it's like you're like the little tiny like 22 250 bullets or like the little you know six millimeters you could probably fill it you know almost 90 percent full but it just seems like because of how long the bullets are less full is, is better So you're going to take your HBN and stir it around. Kind of break up the clumps. And I used to have the little spoon that came with this kit, but it's long gone. I have no idea what happened to it. So that would probably be more than sufficient to coat probably 30 or 40 of these big 338s and like you know, 75, 100, 223s. Since we're using new media, new uh, impact media, I'll just give her a little more. So, we got our bullet. 
notebooks and our media in there. We're going to seal our lid real tight. And then you're going to take some sort of tape. So right here, what I've got is um, just a high temperature tape. It's actually what Cerakote sells for masking off parts before it goes into the oven to coat the, uh, or to bake the coating on. It works out well for this. It's actually really expensive tape. <laughs> you know, it'd probably be a lot cheaper just to use simple masking tape. But this roll goes a long way because this tape's really thin and it's what I have within arm's reach, so it's what's gonna get used. And this is only this is only to prevent this lid from twisting off. And that's mostly precaution. I've actually forgotten to put tape on there with the lid in there and the lid stayed on, thankfully. Because the lid comes off, you'd have yourself one heck of a mess. Because you'd have to completely clean the bullets and the media again and you would waste, you know, the HVN. It'd, it'd be a nightmare. Alrighty. Take these off to be coated. So here's my tumbler. There's a little bit of walnut media in here, just so this thing rotates a little better. And most of it's, this is actually the bed of my lathe that I'm restoring. And, uh, something, this, this bowl just rotates, um, in relation to the rest of the tumbler. And what happened is I had a lid on, I had the lid on, and the bowl would rotate, and the washer actually melted a hole in the lid because of the rotating, so the lid doesn't work anymore. So a lot of my media ends up all over the place. So I try to keep a very little in here. And this is going to make one heck of a racket when I turn this on. So I'll probably annotate or just voice over in the video because you're probably not going to hear me talking. But I'll kind of show you what you want it to look like when it's in there. So we're going to... in there for a couple hours. Open up our bottle. I'll open the bottle up on this side, but I'll actually pour everything into the other side of the towel smell that you'll get a big whiff of uh, an ammonia smell. I know it's done I guess. There we go. Everything shook out. what your bullets will look like straight out. Battery's low on the GoPro. So you just take your towel, fold it over like so, and grab either end. You're just going to go back and forth like this. And this is just going to get the excess coating off. And there it is. Hopefully you can see that. Pretty normal, but it'll just look maybe, I don't know, duller. And that's how you coat bullets with HB, and it's pretty simple and super effective. And 
not that expensive once you get over the initial investment. Even really, then the initial investment's next to nothing. So there you have it.